So in this very video, I'll be teaching or solving this very question, the shorter way. So, okay, I said show, show that the Laplace transform of f of t equal t to the power of n is equal n factorial divided by s to the power of n plus 1. So they said this will be 6 max. So it came out last session, which is 29-2020 section. So let me solve this very question very fast. You can solve this the shorter way, but the longer way, I'll link the video up there for you to watch the longer way. This is completely mathematical and completely correct. So you can use this as an alternative method. Now, remember that the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t exponential minus st dt. So this is what the Laplace transform is. So that means the Laplace transform of f of t is equal what t to the power of n so this t to the power of n equal integral from 0 to infinity if f of t is now t to the power of n it means i can remove this f of t here and put t to the power of n then we have exponential minus st dt now this expression you're seeing at this side this very expression which i have to evaluate is actually looking like the gamma function this is gamma function so i have to just do one thing to make it completely right what is that thing i have to do if you look at this as the gamma function says the exponential should be raised to a single negative variable here i have st st is not single look at the gamma function here the integral from zero to infinity of t of n exponential minus t dt this expression is the gamma function. Integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of 8, exponential minus s dx. This expression is also the gamma function. So if you notice it, we have s raised to the power of something, exponential minus x, then dx. So I always draw these three guys to always remember it. This guy, I have t, t, t. But the exponential must be a negative, a single negative variable. Now what would I do? To make this st become one thing, I have to totally use another alphabet that is not here. So I will say, let k be equal to st. Because if I can say k should be st, obviously I would then have minus k here. Now, by me doing this, by me saying k is equal to st, it means this t guy, I have to remove this t and express it in terms of what k then I have to remove this dt and express it in terms of what? k, because I am changing the variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is, k is already st. If k is st, what do you think would happen here? dk, dk would then become what? s dt. That's correct. dk would then become equal s dt. It's very simple. We are differentiating this k with respect to what? t. So your answer is going to be s dt. Since I have dt here, what does that mean? It means my dt will then become dk over s because you'll be making the c squared of the formula. So I have this expression. I have this expression. What's the next expression I need? c. If k is equal to st, can I make c squared of the formula here? Remember, I'm trying to make everything sort of the formula in terms of t. So right now, I have to make c squared sort of the formula so we said k is equal to st it means t is equal k over s because i have to divide both sides by x so let me let me proceed or let me continue rather okay so this will be equal to the integral from zero to infinity of t is what we said t look at it t is equal k over x so i can move this t and write k over s Remember that everything is to the power of n. Then this is exponential minus. What is st? st is equal to what? k. Then dt. What is dt? It's dk over s. So this is dk all over what? s. So this is the expression I have. We're almost done with solving this. So this is the integral from 0 to infinity. Open this bracket. You have k to the power of n over s to the power of n. Exponential minus k dk all over s so this is the integral from zero to infinity now look carefully we have s to the power of n here we have s to the power of one so what does this tell you 
This tells you we're going to be having k to the power of n exponential minus k dk divided by s n plus 1. Because they are both denominators and there are times in it. In this case, you have to what? You have to multiply. To multiply these two guys, you need to add the powers. Now, see what will happen next. Since this guy is saying integrate with respect to k, because this dk here means with respect to k, but we have s, which means s is a constant. That's the meaning. So I can actually factorize this denominator out. Remember that this will be a 1. So when factorizing it out, I'm going to be having 1 over s n plus 1, then integral from 0 to infinity, what will be left? k to the power of n exponential minus k dk. At this part, look at this carefully. This is your gamma function. And what would this be in terms of gamma function? This would then become 1 over s n plus 1 times everything here is n factorial. Yes, n factorial in terms of integral is equal to this. So that means our final answer here, 1 times n factorial is n factorial all over s n plus 1. So this is the answer to this, and this you'll be given 6 marks. So what does this tell you? This tells you that there's a shorter approach compared to the longer video that I've made. You can watch the longer video over here. Thank you very much for watching this very video. My name remains Avitech.